she's pretty. I'm gonna go around the back. I already see a transom window there. I love, love, love the two-tone in this home. I see it with a nice front porch. Big, a big porch. This is the side and we'll walk around the back. what the back looks like so already I see that it has sliding door sliding glass doors in the back that would make for a nice deck wouldn't it really nice and then you got two transom windows there I don't know if that would be the master or I don't know but we're gonna go in and see here in just a minute and then you got this window on the side this is the master side because that window that frosted window has to be the master bath so i can't wait to see it let's go on in and see what she looks like again this is a scott book three bedroom two bath it's called the magnolia Just a quick disclaimer before we finish this tour. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. All right. All right, so I'm gonna, it's pretty loud out there, isn't it? I'm gonna sit my paper down here and turn around so you can see. I'm sorry it's dark in here. Lights are not on. I wonder if I shut the door, would it make a difference? I usually leave it on it open for the light but we'll see okay so we just came through that front door that's your living room you got two windows there has a ceiling fan sorry about the light you guys they don't have light in here they don't have the lights connected you got a ceiling fan in here You've got this nice space for your living room. This house has carpet in the living room. Love the cutout by the front door. So you can take your shoes off. You've got space for a small entry table right there. Probably put your TV on this wall or this wall. Depends on how you want to position your furniture right but this is your living room now you've got this partial wall here so you don't have a full open space it kind of gives it like a different look to me but this is what you see from the living room when you walk in you've got this pretty bright island you can see two bar stools here pendant lighting above the island you've got those i can't remember what you call those lights in the ceiling are they cap lights I can't remember the name of those lights in the ceiling, but you have them, okay? You've got white cabinets in here, black appliances, and then you've got this pantry space. So you've got three cabinets here as pantry space. You've got room for decor up top, little area for your coffee, or beverage station or you can put your mixing bowl whatever you want you don't have to put anything there it's up to you love it love it love it love it love how light and bright it is in here i love the antique look of that pendant light and i know that's not everybody's taste but i personally like it this is the dining room 
You've got your nice farmhouse antique chandelier over the table and you've got your sliding glass doors right there in the dining room. So perfect entertaining um, area. You can open those doors in the summertime or have a way for guests to go in and out, out into the deck, having a barbecue. Just beautiful. You've got uh, space for decor or extra space for appliances that can be stored right there. Really nice. Off the kitchen is your utility room. We'll go take a look at the utility room. I love these light floors. You got a transom window in your, okay, that's the transom window. You got this transom window, one of them anyway, here in your laundry room over the washer and dryer. You've got more shelving in here for storage. So you could probably put your detergents and extra cleaning supplies and extra appliances. You actually got four. So you got four cabinets, one, two, three, four cabinets in here for pantry space. And then you've got uh, space behind this door and that this door right here leads to the pantry. So you've got a pantry in the utility room. Really nice. I think this is the first time I've seen a pantry in the utility room and this is a perfect spot for it. I love it. So in addition to having this storage space here that I would probably do for like all tissue, paper towels, detergents, cleaners, stuff like that. And then you got your pantry items that could go in, in here. So that is such a nice surprise. Your washer and dryer will go there, but I see an outlet here and I, I will put a small deep freezer right there. So perfect. This is a perfect pantry to me. I love, love, love this pantry. The fact that it has a door that closes and you have a door to close off the utility room. So if you have company and you got clothes going, you don't have to worry about it being exposed to your guests. Love it. I love, love, love that. All right. So here we are again in the living room, facing the kitchen and dining room. Here's another thing that I appreciate. The guest rooms, the kids rooms are around this corner off the dining room, which is a plus because they're not right there. You know what I'm saying? So right off the dining room, the first thing I see walking in this area is the guest bedroom. So you've got, I mean, excuse me, bathroom. So you've got this cute guest bathroom. That's the second transom window we saw. It has a transom window above the tub and shower combination. I love the step up because if you have an older parent that lives with you, that's going to be convenient for them or someone that has knee issues. We have a subscriber, Joan Bates, that always talks about her knees. This would be perfect. This would be perfect. Either getting in the shower or getting in the tub. This would be perfect for, for her. We also have two sinks in here. We have drawer space and cabinet space. You have two mirrors. Again, I said it in another video. Those clips at the tops of the mirrors is how you take them off. So if you're not happy with these mirrors, then these clips, you just turn these clips. They have screws in them. Unscrew it, unscrew it, and turn it. And these mirrors come right off, okay? And then you can put another mirror up. Now, you have a separate little area over here. It doesn't have a door, but it has this little wall for um, privacy. So you have your toilet back there. And then look at there, you have more storage in here. So this is like a linen closet, towel sheets, uh, toilet paper, extra stuff right here, right in this bathroom for the kids, for whoever else lives here. So perfect. Let me make sure you understand the layout of this bathroom. So when you come in, you have your double sinks here, 
you have your tub and shower there. And then around the corner to the left, you have a storage closet right there. And to the right, back in the cubby hole, you have the toilet, okay? Very nice. Now, one thing I didn't mention is this door here right before you go into the bathroom. This is even more storage. So this home is the house that keeps on giving. You got a closet out here for storage. This is amazing. This is amazing. So you've got storage in there, storage in there. You've got a pantry, lots of pantry, uh, storage space. Love it. Then you have two bedrooms here. This one is right off the dining room. This one is back in this little entryway. It's like a little entryway to walk in there. You see that? Just want to make sure I'm covering all bases. So back in this little entryway, you have this guest bedroom. Nice size guest bedroom that has a standard closet. Really nice. Really nice. Nice size guest bedroom. I'll turn around one more time and let you take a look at it so you can gauge the size. All right, so this guest bedroom number one, and then going back toward the dining room, over here, you have guest bedroom number two. Appears to be the same size, really nice. This is the Scott built, it's a, called Magnolia. Three bedroom, two bath, really nice. And I'll give you one more look. Perfect, so that's your two guest bedrooms. We've seen the dining room, kitchen, pantry, and living room. So there's your front door right there. Coming from the front door to the right, you have your guest bathroom. Excuse me, you have your master bedroom. So this is your master bedroom. It has a huge window right there. I'll come over here in the corner so you can see. Master bedroom, some more of those cap lights. And then this is your master bathroom. So you've got two sinks there, same cabinet and drawers, two mirrors. You've got more storage space there. You've got your deep soaker tub across from the double sinks. It has frosted glass up there. Really nice. Beside it, you have your oversized, look how big that shower is. That shower's huge. And this is a door, I believe. Yep, this is a door that opens and you've got the rain shower shower head in there. Really nice. Love it. Love it, love it. And behind here is the toilet. Really nice. Close that door. That is an oversized shower, you guys. That is not a standard shower. That is beautiful. And then behind you, and it has a door is the master closet. So there's the other transom window. You got a transom window in here and all of this is closet. Really nice. All of that is closet. Really nice. I would extend the shelving here and over here for even more space. You could do it on those sides too. Really nice. All right, let's get this paper out. Oh, wrong place. All right, this is a Scott built home, the Magnolia. Three bedroom, two bath. 130,000, really nice. 
I'm gonna check on that price because this one says it has a great room. I'm gonna check on that price. If the price is different, I don't think this is the price, you guys. I'll post the price on the screen if I can get it. If not, the information will be down in the description box, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching.